This video is not intended for children under 12. Good morning, YouTube. See for all. I'm up and early. I'm recording this thing from last night, and I did some filters. Check this out. Uh, the first filter we have here is none. This is what it actually looked like uh, when I started taking the recording. I watched it for a half hour. The little white dot on the pink object in the sky seemed to be moving a little bit. Uh, so I thought, well, it might be worth recording this. And so I took my cell phone, went live from the PC right to you guys for an hour. That video's up. It's kind of boring. Um, you can hear me rambling because I was hyped up on coffee, I think. <laughs> Anyways, uh, a lot of people came. I think I had like 600 views. It was awesome. Anyways, who knows what this is? I don't. Let me show you some filters. I'm going to let it run for a minute, put some music on, and I'm going to show you some filters. I'll come back. Look at the object in the left-hand corner. When the filters come, you'll see what I'm talking about. I think that object is actually a planet. I can't really say so or not. It could be just a lens flare or whatever, but it still looks interesting. I couldn't pick nothing up on the x-ray. Anyways, keep watching. I got a time lapse, so it's not an hour and a half time lapse. I, I whittled it down to six to seven minutes. Um, but I want to get to the UFO part. Get ready. Okay. see that white orb that goes in front of it which takes away the fact that it could be a lens flare it can't be a sun simulator flare or sun flare or sun dog because it's nighttime there should be one more ufo that kind of goes up to the left hand corner and goes around i don't know the time lapse might be too fast for it but i'll see if i can find it anyway you notice a little in this x-ray you notice a little little blue dot or a black dot on this one you still see the orb on the left coming up. I think that's Nibiru. If you notice that the, uh, the dot, or the orb that flies in front of it, it's black right now, but in the x-ray, but there'll be one that comes right out of that little spot on the right of that, uh, later on I think, comes, comes right out of it. Uh, Igor and AJ, they both seen it and said, whoa, I think they said, whoa, what's up? The, a lot of these are planes going by, this is the original footage, people. Um, that planet on the left, it looks kind of stripy, it does. I don't know if it's just the way the camera's striping out or what, but... Uh, what's amazing when you time-lapse stuff, you can see how active it is by how much it, you know, how much it actually pulsates. Like when the sun sim is pulsating, when you time-lapse it, it pulsates like crazy. Which people say, it's just a, it's just a time-lapse. No, there's, you know, a lot of times there's no cloud is still pulsating. I think this was an orb right here coming through. I don't know, let's see. No filter at all on this, this is the original. That looks like it might have been a plane going by. There's a lot of helicopters and planes going by 
like if they were trying to observe it. Um, the question was the, what looks like three reflections behind it, or like reflections of it. Maybe it's emanating light. But if you remember, I caught that one capture. It was um, Chickamos, where I had the three sun simulators trying to cover that red planet and the other planets. Do you remember the, the red thing behind it? It had like layers. So what I'm going to do is put this through to a little forensic, take a couple snapshots, put it through some forensic, and see if I could bring out what this really is, okay? So I didn't really plan on doing forensic, but it'll only take a few minutes, and it'll be fun to see what it really is. Let's try. 